Good morning, all you folks out there in YouTube land. Thrash Pondo here, and I'm bringing to you, as promised, my Fargo Season 5, Episode 10 retrospect. We gotta put a cap on this, folks. And, of course, there's going to be spoilers. Apologies in advance. So, what have we learned, Dorothy? Well, let's, for example, before we move forward, let's take my speculative spoiling theories and wild guesses first. Number one, did the Jerome character come out into the finale and be a factor in this episode? Uh, no. In fact, we never even saw him again. So hopefully they'll save him for another installment. Moving forward. Did Duggar show up and be a factor? No, I mean, we didn't really care about him anyway, so you know what? Moving forward. Number three, did Wayne show up and be a factor, bringing my Wizard of Oz theory to fruition? And absolutely, positively not. In fact, one of the main things we learned is that Wayne is still the lovable doofus he was before. Uh, perhaps a little bit more doofus-like, but, well, still just as lovable. But again... Not a factor. In fact, every time he speaks, all I can think of is, uh, will you shut up? The big kids are talking. Which brings us finally to my last theory. Will Gator be a factor? And while he may have gotten something along the way of revenge, he did not get something along the way of redemption. And there is a distinction. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. So I'm just going to move forward and say, take the book and throw it out the window. So, moving forward, what did we get? This episode did something really, really slick. Uh, that crescendo we've been talking about for weeks, they put it up at the very, very beginning. And it's resolved rather rapidly. Uh, they, they do let it unfold a little here and there, but very nicely. And the whole thing is... Wrapped up in one nice, neat little package. Uh, Gator escapes and warns the feds. Uh, Tillman kills his almost comically useless father, more or less in front of Karen. Uh, that's a that's a twofer. Um, Dot finally gets to shoot him. Of course, it's not a fatal wound, is what we were really, really hoping for, but it's a belly wound, and those are so painful. Uh, I had a gut feeling that it was going to be satisfying. We'll see what I did there. Now, on the non-plus side, sadly, we did lose wit far. Remember I said this wouldn't be a Fargo episode without some heavy casualties on the balance sheet. Yes, we lost what Far was really, really pulling for him. He had become such a contributing uh, character. But again, what happens is he's got to do it by the book. And in this case, that was his undoing. But you know what? Rest in peace, Officer Far. Bad guys can rot in wherever they rot. But anyway, everything put together in one nice little package, and they then decide to take up the rest of the episode with a series of epilogues. There's actually three complete distinct epilogues. Uh, in fact, you could almost say roll credits after each one. Uh, one, of course, is a very touching tribute where they say goodbye to Whitfar, and um, I don't want to call her Olmstead because I'm sure by this point... She's fully divorced. It's, it's already a year later, but we see uh, Officer Indira. Who, she's not even an officer now, too. We see Indira, all right, at the gravesite. Dot and Scotty show up. Dot is now pregnant uh, with what they speculate will be another girl. And it's, it's a very touching send-off, and it wraps up very neatly right there. We then go on to epilogue number two, which... Yes, yes, uh, Tillman did survive, no surprises there, and he's in a federal prison, and who shows up to spike the bull but our favorite bull spiker, Lorraine Lyons, who, you know what, I, I, I can't even broad stroke it, but she's arranged so that prison is actually an even bigger punishment than most people felt it would have been. She goes out of her way to make sure that his... His days are exquisitely tortured, and it's just absolutely delicious. Oh, one thing I have to point out. Yes, Gator did lose both his eyes. So the one-eyed 
Jack routine didn't hold water, but what he does do is getting back to him. He manages to find the escape tunnel and tip off the feds. So that when Tillman is captured, those FBI agents who've been beyond peripheral up till now have one of the best lines of the episode. Oh, and by the way, it was your son who turned you in. Boom! So you you got to give Gator at least something. Oh, and there's a very touching scene between him and Dot where he he basically apologizes for all his wrongdoings and and asks her to visit him in prison and in almost Herculean sympathy, she agrees to come and bring him his favorite cookies. All right, so you get a little feel good ending here. Moving forward, moving forward. So we, we, we can put a pin in Tillman. <laughs> and we, we set our farewells to Far. Now, what is left? What is left? What is left? Well, <laughs> guess who shows up at Dot's home? Our good old friend Ole Monk. And yes, I was right. They do pronounce it with that hard k sound, not the munch. Although people love to say munch for some reason, but moving forward. And here's where the episode gets almost surreal. He he says he's there for his quote-unquote pound of flesh. And Dot is very, very concerned. And even Scotty, you know, she very... Uh, suspiciously, she stands behind her mother like she she's kind of got an idea. Something's going on here. Wayne is still Wayne. Uh, Good-natured, but has not a clue. And, but anyway, Monk goes into a whole routine about he's there for the debt. And, of course, this whole season has been about debt, something I can relate to. And, well, and it's a lot of people are thinking that he was there to kill her, because that's the only way you could resolve this whole matter. I take it a completely different way. I took it a completely different way. I think that somehow... Monk is offering her a chance to get revenge on him. He is atoning for fighting on the demonstratively wrong side and basically saying, look, you have to kill me or this whole matter is still unresolved. And, of course, he really did destroy your life. If he hadn't uh, captured her in the first place, I told him he probably would have sent somebody else, but... But he really did turn her love upside down. And again, as he was on the wrong side, I think he really needs to atone. And again, further on down the line, uh, you get the impression just how emotionally exhausted this guy is. Now, is the story he's telling about his backstory legit and he really is a mystic warrior from 500 years before? Or is he just an insane person whose talents translate well to professional killer? Does it matter? The point is, <laughs> Dot sidesteps this whole debt-collecting routine, and they all sit down to have a nice, chilly dinner with Bisquick rolls. Oh, and yes, I knew the secret about the buttermilk, too. Bet they have kiss. But anyway, what do I think about this whole season? I think it was amazing. Were there some flaws? I uh, yeah. Were there some things I would have done differently? Uh, yep. Um, was I right along the way in my second guessing? Oh, no, 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 no. But you know what? Coming up with crazy theories is much like giving the wrong answer in a trivia game, although that's never happened to me personally. It's just fun to play along. So I'm going to continue to give my crazy, harebrained, half-baked speculative spoilers, secret theories, and any other wild guesses I can come up with. You're welcome to do the same. Now, again, just to put a final pin in it, I think this was the best season of Fargo of all of them. I am, however, currently re-watching them as we go. One thing I gotta say is, I don't know if this happened to you guys personally. They oftentimes don't have quite the same replay value. It's almost like once you see how it plays out, it's it's hard to get quite the same over again. It's like watching home movies. 
you know, this was so much fun when we were actually filming it, but now we rewatch it, it's like, oh, yeah, look at Grandpa drop his watch at the punch bowl. But anyway, I'm going to do it. In fact, if you guys want, I will happily do Fargo retrospects for the past seasons. It's an awful lot of work, but I'm not going anywhere. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. Now, again, you know this is going. Be sure to like, subscribe, forward, share, watch my videos, and leave comments in the comments below. Preferably fun comments that I can give fun comments back to. But until my next post, be good, be safe, be careful. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again very, 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 very soon. Peace.